Here we have a 10 horsepower Everett chop saw. This unit uh, also has a half horsepower exhaust fan on top and also has a cool pump on the bottom. If you come over here, <coughs> you have a disconnect on the side, down would be off, up would be on. Over here you have an air pressure regulator. This adjusts the air pressure to the clamp for the saw. Come over here and you take your part. Put your part in the cradle. Take the chain, put the chain over it, take the closest link, put it in the jaw in the front, pull down on the lever. As you can see, it actuates and pulls the chain tight. Show this again. As you can see it's loose. If you watch the mechanism over there, now your part is tight. You come over here, <coughs> the switch on the bottom turns the exhaust fan on. Turn this off for a second so you can hear this pull up. This, now this unit here has been completely rebuilt. We have new spindle bearings, the four brand new belts, and we also have new motor bearings in the, in the motor in the back. Everything has been completely taken apart, uh, cleaned up, fixed, greased, put back together. As you can see, the motor sounds excellent, the spindle bearings sound excellent. Come over here, we'll turn the exhaust fan on. You're not running any coolant in this demonstration. Nice and straight. Loosen the clamp, pull the chain out. You can take your part out. This also has a part sheet on the side, so you can put your part in, shoot it out the side. Um, if you have a bigger part and you need to make the openings bigger, there's plenty of provision for you to do this. Uh, this unit only comes with the with the wheel that's on it. As you can see inside the guard, everything is clean. The whole entire unit, like I said, has been rebuilt. Everything has been taken apart, clean, put back together, new bearings and everything. Uh, this is a turnkey ready unit, all ready to go. Currently this unit is wired to 440. It can also be wired to 20. But the exhaust fan on the top is wired 110 and on the back, the yellow cord coming off the back goes to your 110 volt cord. And this is what you need to operate the exhaust fan. The cool pump turns on as soon as you turn the saw on. So when you turn on the saw, the cool pump is running. You turn off the saw, the cool pump is turned off. You also have a control flow valve here, and you have adjustable nozzles to put the coolant wherever you need. This is our Everett Chop Saw.